Hello everyone, my name is uh, Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet certified trainer here in Tempe, Arizona with Dynamic Worldwide Training. And I do these videos for my participants who take my class and they request them. So here's going to be a short one, all right? Uh, but essentially I was asked, hey Devin, could you demo capturing traffic in the FortiGate? Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video playlist. So uh, our goals are pretty simple. So we're going to use uh, Wireshark for our Wireshare. <laughs> Let's just say shark. Anyways, that's embarrassing. Anyways, guys, uh, Wireshark to uh, analyze our traffic. So that's an open source protocol analyzer. Probably the best one I know out there. And then um, also, you know, we're going to use the GUI on the FortiGate to capture that traffic and uh, load it up in Wireshark and see what's going on per layer. So as easy as that. Now, uh, if your FortiGate is running on 40 OS 6.0 and lower, uh, you lose the ability to capture traffic via the GUI unless you have a hard drive. So there is a long, like, convoluted process on capturing traffic via the CLI and then converting it using a script or a third-party tool. That's just a 40 pain in the butt. So, um, anyways. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for our last one. I might not get to that one in a while because I uh, I have other things I need to do for for my classes. But um, I'll definitely leave it up there as eventually one of the goals that we'll hit in this class. So, but let's go ahead and begin by first getting uh, Wireshark installed in our lab environment, and then capturing some traffic on the FortiGate. So here we go. Let's load up our Windows machine. All right, yeah, wake it up a little bit. And uh, Wireshark should be a pretty straightforward install. So um, just make sure if you are using this in your lab environment, this is a Windows 32-bit machine that gets deployed in GNS3. If you just use the standard uh, Windows um, VM machine that they have you go and download. So found that out the hard way because um, certain third-party tools, by the way, for those CLI commands those are not written in 32-bit boo so but anyways we'll cross that we'll cross that bridge when we have to but here we go so let's go ahead and just uh, search for download Wireshark and by the way I'm updating the, the domain controller in the background so things might be a little slow in this video I apologize alright there we go okay and let's just jump right to the downloads bloop and as you can tell, it detected that we're running Windows 32. So let's go ahead and hit the installer. And we will save it. Yeah, good times there. So we'll just wait till it finishes downloading. And then once it's downloading, we'll run the install. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. I think you do need admin rights, though. So, um, and that should not be a problem. Looks like it downloaded this before when I was testing it out. But all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and open it. And this will allow us not only to see the flow of traffic in a packet capture, but I love how it broke, breaks it down in the protocol stack. So if something fishy is going going around, um, like in uh, like in the application layer, you know, of course we can we can go ahead and install it. Now this is just for a a demo of what we do in real life. By the way guys, if you ever need to do any kind of packet capturing, and I'll kind of talk about this, um, in GNS3 itself, all you have to do is right click one of these lines, say start capture, and it will load up Wireshark for you. So um, there's really nothing special to uh, sniffing in your lab environment, right? And that's one of my favorite things about using GNS3, especially in my CompTIA classes, when people are trying to understand and try to comprehend the protocols, you know, um, at the beginning of their networking career. Ugh, look at those, <laughs> look at those poor segmented packets. Anyways, uh, it's nice to see, okay, hey, look, there's the frame, there's the IP layer, there's the transport layer, and look at that. It's being locked with SSL TLS. So, you know, just a really neat tool. But if you do end up using that in uh, GNS3, just don't forget to stop it when you're done. So, let's see how our install process is going. Eh, it's still coming along. So, uh, so here we go. Set next. We're not going to run Wireshark at this time. But let's go ahead and do a packet capture. So on the FortiGate, the GUI is pretty straightforward. So let's get to our firewall here. All right. Um, it's not too bad. 
All right, I'm going to log in using my super secret credentials here. Okay. But you're going to go over to the network tab. And right there, packet capture. Now, something that's pretty neat, for the longest time, if you did not have a hard drive, like a, a hard drive available for logging, you could not packet capture. Uh, I just discovered while whipping up these videos, the packet capture option is available on devices without de designated hard drives, starting with 6.2. But I'm going to show you guys kind of a, a workaround if you're if you're below 6.2 here in just a moment in the next video. So, uh, but here we go, and we're going to say create new, and this is where we're going to set our parameters. So, we'll say, hey, you know what? We want anything from port three. All right, and you can just straight up dump whatever crosses that interface, or you can set your filters. And here we can put like host or host. I think you separate it by a comma. All right, uh, your port numbers if you wanted them, if you had VLAN tags going on, all right, or a protocol themselves. So, but you will have to know the protocol numbers, like six being TCP and 17 being UDP and so on and so forth. So, um, just something to keep in mind. Um, Pretty cool though, right guys? So why don't we just do a straight up dump on port three, and I guess we don't need to do 4,000. We'll just do, uh, I don't know, 200 packets. And we hit okay, and actually nothing happens at this point, okay? It will save it as not running. And when we're ready to go ahead and like get that packet flow happening, so I'm just gonna pull up my, my good old command prompt here. Let's just ping something. I'll put a tail on it. All right, there we go. So we're, we're, we're collecting this traffic. Now I could have set the filters just to see this just as easily, but we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And, and literally you'll see, I'll just hit the F5 here. You'll see it fill up and it should actually fill up fairly quickly if it's only 200 packets. Um, and there you go, it's done. Not too bad. And what's nice about this too is that we can now download it, or if you need to run it in the future, you can just hit your reload button. Now what I like about this is sometimes finding the right window uh, to, to find like some anomaly or something, um, you need to do this fairly quickly. And I love that you can actually have this predefined setup with your filter criteria. You can run right into the GUI and hit go. So, but now that it's been captured, we can hit download and it should download as a PCAP file. All right, so there it is, PCAP. It automatically wants us to open it up with Wireshark that it's installed, but we'll say save file for right now. And there it is. All right, bloop. And then we open it up. It should open it up with Wireshark and we'll be able to analyze the traffic. So easy enough. Well, maybe. Like I said, things are kind of running slow in my virtual environment. So, all right, I'll close that out. Maybe I'll speed it along. All right, come on Wireshark, I know you can do it. Oh, yep, it's right there. Just taking a little little longer. And as you can see, we now have our traffic that we've captured from the FortiGate. So not too bad. Just remember, if there is something specific that you guys wanna see though, make sure that you're setting your filters because it looks like the majority of the stuff that I captured uh, actually came from the um, actually came from the FortiGate's GUI, which I think that's kind of funny, but whatever. Um, but yeah, there's the packet capture. I should have set the filters, but that should have been pretty straightforward though, guys. Um, so in the next video, like I said, we will take it a step further and I'll show you guys how to do the same thing, but uh, on FortiGate's without a hard drive, running 40OS 6.0 and lower, and I don't know if I'm gonna get to that one today, but we'll see if we can't capture some traffic through the CLI and convert it to that PCAP file um, using a script or third-party tool. So, all right, I hope that was uh, good enough. If not, leave me a comment and or shoot me an email for those that have taken my class, and we'll go from there. So, okay, thanks a lot.